Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am so glad that you visit me on my channel and I will be here to tell you about the to talk about the word of God, what is the word of God say. If it is first time you visit my channel, I suggest that you click on that subscribe button so you and that notification button so you will not you, you so you will be notified every time I upload my videos. And it's my videos all is about the word of God. Sometimes I upload songs, sometimes I upload other things. But uh, I always speak about the word of God. And uh, today I will tell you about um, the authority of Jesus. And uh, this authority, why this authority are so important to know. Because if you don't know someone whose authority someone I mean the authority of someone maybe you will not know that a person you know every time when you want to respect a person you must have to know who that person is isn't it you have to know his authority if you without that authority you will not have that respect to that person or maybe you will not know that person who he is or if i want to ask you something if i want to come to beg you something i need i need to know what kind of authority you have so i will know what i can expect from you you understand i if i don't know your authority it will be not easy for me to expect anything from you you understand we know that even if you want to you know where to go when you you need your help you need it to you when it's even it, it helps us to know even if when we pray to him we praise him to know who jesus is and what kind of authority jesus has and what we can expect from him if we can expect him to we, if there is anything we can expect from him or not and uh, do we think that uh, we have to respect him or do we think that we need to, to to why do we need jesus in our life and this is the actually the topic all is all about jesus jesus authority do you understand that Jesus came up and spoke to them all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth go therefore and make disposal of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you and the law I am with you always even to the end of the age to the end of the age this is the command jesus gave to the, his disciple first he told them about the, all authority has been given to him so he has all authority but which authority jesus has and who gave him that authority do you understand he said that he has been given authority but who gave him that authority do you understand who gave him that authority and uh, another thing is that he has the authority in heaven and on earth. In heaven, he has the authority. That means that he can authorize anything from heaven. Do you understand? He is the authorizer of everything from heaven. And he can also, he has the authority here on earth. That means that all the earth is above him. That's the meaning of someone who has authority over heaven and earth. We know Jesus is holy. We know Jesus is honest. We know Jesus is the Son of God. And we know that. Now we know he is telling you that I have authority over heaven, in heaven and on earth. And he also told them, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all I have I commanded you. Jesus was working together with his disciples and he commanded them, he told them what to do. That is actually the 
work of the disciples of Jesus is for us to observe what Jesus has commanded to do. You understand? If you follow to my other topics or my teachings, you will know what uh, what is that um, I have been uh, talking about. He has the authority in heaven and in earth. In heaven. When we talk about heaven, we know why, who live in heaven. Do you know who live in heaven? You know, if Jesus has that authority in heaven, then it means that he is the ruler in heaven. Do you understand? And he is also the ruler on earth. Does this is the is the kind of the authority Jesus has? Do you understand? But who gave him this authority? You know, who has given him this? Because he did not say that I just have authority. I say has been given authority. It means that he was given by someone. Do you understand? He was given by someone. Do you understand? And so if you read it from Matthew chapter 11, chapter verses 27, it says, All things have been handed over to me by my father. Father. By his father. His father is the one who has is the one who has given him that authority. And no one knows the son except the father. And no does nor does anyone know the father except the son and anyone to whom the son will to reveal him amen so we must uh, we know now that jesus has been handed this authority by his own father that's the father who has given him this authority to rule over heaven and to rule over the earth that mean it means that jesus is the ruler together with his father in heaven and also he has that authority the reason why we call him when if something happens it's all about jesus we christian we talk jesus 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 because it is jesus who has that who is authorizer in heaven he has that authority to give us what we want and uh, you know why jesus has been uh, this uh, will be another topic but we know that jesus was a human and uh, jesus was a human he has become human he was he became human he know us much better than the heavenly father because he knows this how to be a human much more than the father i guess and this is the reason that he, heavenly father has given him that authority over us that that's why when we talk we call him we we call him we call the heavenly father yes but we also you when you ask anything to jesus jesus will give you and he said himself i will give you anything you ask so if you ask jesus anything you will get that's why we pray we must say in the name of jesus when we use that name of jesus we touch that authority and things will happen because then we are going to learn more about why do we use the name of jesus do you understand and uh, so today because the lesson was about i uh, about the the authority of jesus and also jesus has also another authority if you read from in this is from a uh, revelation i am the living one i was dead and now look i am alive forever and ever and i hold the keys of death and the heads the heads means 
hell this was actually from revelation chapter 1 verse 18 i guess i am the living one i was dead and now look i am alive forever and ever and i have and i hold the keys of death and the heads so jesus is having the authority on earth he has also the authority on heaven he has also authority in the land of the dead that he hold the keys of death and hell in hell jesus has that key of hell do you understand jesus can also go to hell and do anything he want he has that authority also in hell he has also authority in the land of the dead who are saints who are not in hell do you understand so those are authorities of jesus in heaven in earth and in hell that means he has he can authorize even if someone is dead to come back into life do you understand that this is the meaning that even if somebody dead and you ask jesus i want that person back and you beg him he has the authority to command that the person shall come back to life and this is his authority and if you know the one who has that authority and you have a good relationship with him you know what what will be your limit then you nothing will be everything will be limit everything will be limitless you understand so if jesus has the authority over the dead so he can authorize anything he can authorize that someone shall not die if he decided that even so when you are sick when you get a bad report from hospital and the doctor say that we have cannot do anything about this jesus has the authority to change that report even if you look even if no one can treat you jesus has the authority to change that report jesus if jesus say that you shall not die you will never die no matter what you understand no matter the situation if you get jesus to speak a word of life in you you will not die and jesus has also the authority to terminate anybody's life do you understand he can terminate anyone's life without that he has sinned do you understand for example he can terminate the life of anyone without that person has without that he has done without that it is wrong for him to do that because no one without that no one can punish him for doing anything because he is the latest authority he is alpha and omega do you understand he is alpha and omega Mm -hmm. and uh, the reason i tell you is that you should know that with the authority of jesus he has the authority even to terminate someone's life even if we can decide to kill someone without that he has sinned even without that he has done something wrong and he, that person he can be any kind of person in revelation chapter 2 verse 20 23 but i have this against you you tolerate that woman jezebel who calls herself a prophetess but her teachings she mislead my servants to be sexual immoral and to eat food sacrificed to idols even though i have given her time to repent of her immorality she is unwilling behold i will cast her 
into a bed of sickness. Jesus has authority to cast anyone in the bed of sickness. Do you understand? He can do that. Do you, and no one can judge him for doing that. And those who commit adultery with her will suffer great tribulation until they repent of her, so of her deeds. Then I will strike her children dead. You remember, he can strike your he can strike, he can, Jesus has the authority even to kill children. Do you understand? Without that he has done wrong. We know that no one shall kill children. But Jesus has that authority. If you kill anyone, Jesus has the authority to hold you accountable. And yes, he will hold you accountable if you kill. Because the Bible says that you shall not kill. So Jesus is the highest authority. He can hold you accountable for killing. Even if you kill a baby in the womb, Jesus he can hold you accountable for that. And he will hold you accountable for that. If you kill anyone, Jesus will have hold you accountable for that. Because he is going to be he is going to judge everyone according to their deeds. Even if that of even everyone will pay for he will be rewarded according to their deeds so even if you kill a child you will be held accountable even if you be kill a baby in the womb you will be held accountable for killing a baby in the womb but jesus can kill your babies can kill your children without he has done wrong without he has done Without and no one can judge him. No one has that authority to judge Jesus for what he has done. So if you understand that, you can understand the highest authority, Jesus. I, the, and I am the one who searches minds and hearts. And I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Jesus is the one who repay each and every one according to their did you understand that but jesus is the one who is giving the second chance i say jesus is the one who give the second chance and many times we miss we may think that jesus is too weak because he he doesn't he he does not hold us accountable for what we have done you understand when we do things we miss we miss we we think that jesus he cannot uh, judge us and we think that ah some people say that if god was alive why some children are dying in some places you there's wars and whatever it is yeah so but if you knew that you could instead of judging god or judging jesus you could judge your own actions because you are the one who is going to suffer jesus is already in heaven and he is having great authority there we are the one who are beggar of coming to heaven so you should think about yourself your situation you have to think about my in my situation am i going to make it in heaven so if jesus is having all those authorities do you think that jesus cannot punish me if he wanted to do that but still jesus is giving people second chances how long jesus will give you second chances he says that he can and he said that he would punish that woman Jezebel who is by putting her into the bed, sick bed. He will kill his children. Do you think that he cannot do to you? Do you think that he has no power to do that? 
Do you think that will anybody ever can really judge Jesus if, if he does that? But you still have your kids. You're still you are living. You're still you are breathing. You're still you are not sick. Thank him. Thank him for giving you that mercy. And be, but don't take it for granted and don't take it make sure that you know that every knee will bow before him one day so because it's not ever over yet and the door will be closed very soon and maybe there will be no place for you in in heaven when he, when he, those trumpets will start to blow and it will be over Mm. may I praise God may I pray for you dear Heavenly Father thank you so much for this great world tonight I never knew I could speak something like this but thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk something like this I hope it will help someone out there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen Stop